guys, welcome back to my channel. So today there are officially eight days until Christmas and if you guys haven't figured it out yet, I'm doing a countdown to Christmas series. So for today's video, I have this holiday festive makeup look for you guys and I don't really do super dramatic makeup too often so this is kind of crazy for me. It's not that different from what I normally wear but it's a little darker. I hope you guys can see that. But yeah, so if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look, then make sure you keep watching. Make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't been subscribed to my channel already because there will be a new video every day leading up and on Christmas. So yeah, I will see you guys in the remainder of this video. I'm starting my holiday makeup the way that I start all of my makeup with the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and I'm applying this all over my face just to give me that nice smooth canvas for all my makeup to lay on. Then for holiday makeup I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I love this foundation. If you guys want to hear more about it I did a whole first impressions on it and you can learn all about this foundation and how much I love it and it's definitely going to be the go-to for all my holiday functions this year because it's just super buildable I can get totally different amounts of coverage with it and it just feels absolutely amazing on my skin For special occasion holiday makeup I like to layer a lot of different concealers so I'm gonna start with a light shade in my uh, Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline and I'm applying this just to cover up my under eye circles. Underneath that I'm going to apply the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in I believe the medium shade and again I'm applying this below where I applied that Maybelline concealer and I'm going to apply that onto the tops of my cheeks. And then around my nose and on any problem areas I'm going to apply the darker Maybelline Fit Me Concealer concealer shade and I'm gonna blend all of those colors out with my beauty blender because I don't want it to be so clear that I use three different kinds of concealers but I do really like the effect that layering concealers gets and it kind of helps to work with different formulas and getting the best of everything. To set all of that concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is honestly, guys, one of my favorite products ever. And I'm using my Beauty Blender to kind of bake this translucent powder underneath my eyes. Now, I don't bake like a lot of people do, um, especially since I'm using a translucent powder, it's not as crazy, but I find that that just helps to set everything in place and help it not crease. Then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent regular loose powder and I'm just going to lightly press this around the perimeter of my face and just set the foundation as a whole because again I'm going to be taking a lot of photos, I'm going to be doing a lot more active things and I don't want my foundation to move. As for my eyeshadow primer, I'm of course using my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I've used this for years, it just locks everything on my eyelid like crazy. I cannot go a day without using this product. And then I'm gonna get into picking my eyeshadow shades. So I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light eyeshadow palette because honestly, do I use anything else? I'm using all of those gray shades in the middle. So I'm starting with the base shade that is the darkest gray and I'll link its exact name down below. And I'm applying this all over to my eyelid. And then I'm also going to drag a little bit of it onto my lower lash line just to kind of balance out the eye and give it a little bit of smokiness and this is just going to be our base shade. Um, I'm going to be using a couple different eyeshadows here guys. I wanted it a little more smoky and I also decided to go with this gray shade because I thought it would go with some more lip colors and it was a little bit different than my typical like brown eyeshadow that I wear on the daily. I am using the light brown shade just to work through my crease because I am going to do a kind of cut crease in this look and I want to make sure that there's something for me to blend the color into so the teddy bear brown shade was just to add a little more contrast in there and add a little bit more color for me to work with and to blend with. 
taking the dark taupey shade, I'm going to take this on a pencil brush and follow the line of my natural crease and just really work this product into here. So this is kind of my version of a cut crease. Now, I'm not going to fake any kind of crease and I honestly don't have deep set eyes. So this isn't a cut crease like normal cut creases kind of. I mean, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't at the same time. I took a lot of inspiration from Eleanor's makeup on the Royals on E! And she has a very similar eye shape to me and her makeup is so dramatic with these crazy cut creases and I just love it so much. So I decided to try that out. So I'm now using a clean blending brush and this is a crease blending brush and I'm just working that cut crease out very specifically in the same area that I placed it. So you'll see that I still get that definition from it but it's not like a harsh line so it's not going to show up funny in pictures and it's not going to look weird to people that aren't as crazy into makeup. And of course I have to add that color to the bottom to keep my eyes balanced and this will again just kind of smoke it out a little bit. So because this is a holiday look, I of course have to go in with my liquid eyeliner. I'm not going to show you guys this whole thing because I use it every time. It's my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in black and this just gives me the best winged eyeliner ever. You can play this up a little more dramatic than I do. but. You guys know the drill, a winged eyeliner is necessary in the holidays. So next I'm going in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and Stash. This one has a little bit of a green undertone, which I just went with because it made my eyes pop and I don't know, I was bored of brown eyeliner and my black eyeliner was a little too dull to use. So we went with Stash. So now for my eyebrows. Ta-da, they're already done because I did a whole tutorial on it yesterday. So if you guys want to see my eyebrows, click that link. I'm going to uh, just kind of sweep away the powder that I placed underneath my eyes before. And then I'm going to go in with my blush from NARS. It's Color Sin. And I'm applying this to my cheeks. Now, I didn't go with any kind of contouring or bronzer shade today. So I am working this a little bit lower on my face than I normally do, almost into where I would, well actually exactly where I would place my contour shade normally, and I just like the way that that gives me a little more definition. Of course I'm contouring my nose because that baby needs a little bit of contouring, and then I'm highlighting my face with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and I'm using the center shade, which again, I will put the exact name down below because I'm too lazy to go find it right now. Um, I wanted to do a little more highlighting for this look than I normally do. I'm not a huge highlighter person, but glitter is fabulous for the holidays. So I'm even gonna layer on another highlighter. This is the Dior Amber Diamonds Highlighting Powder, and I just love this guy. It's so beautiful. It's not doing it justice on camera because I had crazy lighting on me, but I mean, I just love this layered highlighter effect. It's so glowing, so beautiful, so perfect for the holidays. I'm gonna set all of that makeup with my uh, Pro Longwear setting spray, I think. What is that called? I'm forgetting. It'll be in the down bar below. It's by MAC. Um, and that'll just keep my skin looking fresh. Then for my mascara, I'm using the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara. I decided not to do any kind of lashes. You guys definitely could. I just don't like lashes on my eyes too much. I feel like they typically weigh down my face just because I do have smaller eyes. I know that a ton of people pull off lashes and I'm sure that I could, but I just don't. So I'm going to live with it. So I'm layering on a ton of this mascara. I actually was really pleasantly surprised by it. I'm kind of a big fan of it right now. And then I'm going to finish off with lips. I'm taking this Bite Lip Crayon, which is a beautiful berryish red shade. So I didn't want to do a typical red lip, though you definitely could, just because I've been wearing that in my videos a lot and I feel like that's such a typical holiday look. So instead, I wanted to try going with this little more wearable shade in case if you guys are a little intimidated by red, but it's still a deep enough color that it's going to be really holiday time-esque. And it's just this gorgeous berry color that honestly, you guys will get so many compliments on. Again, its name will be in the comment in the bottom bar down below. All right, so that's it for this makeup look. I'm done, I'm getting too tongue-tied. So yeah, that's been the look. Give this video a thumbs up. And now I'm gonna come back in real time to give you my goodbye. 
I hope you guys liked that little tutorial and yeah so that is it if you like this look give it a thumbs up if you try out this makeup look then make sure that you send me a Twitter on uh, Twitter no make sure that you send me a picture on Twitter and Instagram and go ahead and follow me there if you like what I post and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's countdown to Christmas video I'll see you guys then bye and if you guys missed yesterday's video, which was my brow tutorial video, then go ahead and click the video right here.